Today is going to be another bread baking day. We'll hopefully do a little bit better than yesterday. We, um, we did end up eating some of the bread from yesterday. It worked out okay, but there's a lot of flaws in the process. Uh, Sebastian, the dog who ate the dough, uh, turned out fine. And uh, today I'm going to mix up this yeast uh, a little bit earlier. I want the yeast to have time to really get actively going. And then we're going to also, after we mix up the dough, we'll do that after it warms up, uh, we're going to wait quite a bit longer. I noticed a lot of the recipes say you should wait like three hours. And so I think uh, one of the problems is we get excited, we have the dough, we have the oven, so we start baking, and I think that's a big mistake. Hopefully today we'll get better results. All right, so we're ready to start again. You ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Okay. Estamos listo. Yo tengo mi levadura. I have my uh, yeast I started. We're going to start some new yeast. We're going to mix up some new batches. We're going to then make sure we let the dough rise enough. We're going to have the oven be not too hot. Uh -huh. And I think we'll win. Yeah? yeah. You confident? Sí. You were confident uh -huh. yesterday. And we did good, actually. Well, I will be confident every day. Okay, that's a good <laughs> attitude. I like that. Uh, and, you know, we did eat bread yesterday. But uh, today, I think we'll be more satisfied. And don't trust dogs. No. Not when it comes to food. There's no, Sebastian is not around anyway. Wait, who's that? <laughs> the fat one. The fat dog waiting in the wings for us to go in the studio for two minutes. All right, well, we'll okay. see what happens today. Vamos a okay, empezar. vamos a ver. Okay. okay, so the plan is to do, we'll see if this works. <laughs> Uh, four batches. Saturday plan is? Yeah. It's Saturday, right? We should be relaxed. So I've got my yeast. I've got a new yeast on the way. We'll take half of one dough and half of the other. So, wait. One, okay. Fuck. It's really nothing. Yeah. Really? Okay. Well, you know so. Uh, what? There. What? There. Well, we'll decide which of uh, things we do we'll edit out later. I don't think we're going to edit anything out. It's like you're hanging out with us. Anyway, so we're going to do, uh, we, we have yeast that's more mature. We have younger yeast. Mm -hmm. We have, uh, then we'll, we'll make uh, one batch with each of those. We'll wait about an hour or so. I will fix up the stove so it's not okay. so harsh. And then with the other two batches of dough, we will wait like, Six hours. We'll do it at sunset. Yeah? And then we'll have four examples of how things can be. How, 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 much, how, how mature was the yeast, and then how much do we let the dough rise? That's some pretty good science. And uh, no dogs are allowed to eat yeast or dough or anything, really. He's <laughs> not far. All right, so I know I got smart friends, so I'm just going to tell you what I know and you know too. And uh, that is that I should have had two yeasts started so that I could get this dough going, which is the dough for later because it's supposed to get more mature and stuff. But I think it'll work out maybe mixing it in and stuff. And uh, so it's a flaw in the perfect science of it. But don't worry about it. Um, adjust for flaws, and we'll still learn a bunch of stuff. And bread, hopefully, be nice. So, I don't know how, I mean, you have to look at the, the life cycle of yeast and how the population expands and then falls, just like with beer, in my experience with beer mostly. But you look at this guy, and this is foaming up really nice. Now, this is one I started earlier, and it's kind of dying down, there's less bubbles. So we actually don't know what's better on the age. And of course, these ones I just did. So, but this is like, you know, this is like five, six minutes ago. I don't know, not much. So the question is, if anybody is smarter than me and knows how to answer it is, how long should you, or how, how, how long before you mix it in with the dough should you start your yeast? It may not matter because once it's inside the dough, that's when you want most of your activity to happen. So it could be that you should mix it up 
and then mix it in with your dough right away because right now, in, in a sense, I've, I've lost carbon dioxide by having doing it this way. So it could be you should mix it up and then mix it in. I don't know. We'll find out. I want to show you what happened here. Okay. And I don't know what is going to happen later on. But... Oh, an abeja. Pobrecito. She was looking for the honey when you take it oh. out. So she came yeah. for it. Piensas que va a vivir? You think it will live? I don't know. A lo mejor se infla. <laughs> like Sebastian. <laughs> So we, we don't have enough security still because a bee is in the yeast. <sighs> it might live. We could keep it as a pet. Is it still there? It's still there. It's still alive. Yeah. It's going to be a big bee. <coughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't think that was the first part. Levadura. Estamos haciendo, we are making half of the recipe because of the experiment. We end up eating the, the, pan, the cake, the pan, anyway, the bread, I'm sorry. Even if it's not that good, we ate it. And we ate it this morning. <laughs> Panque con pasas y huevo revuelto y frijoles. So, no. uh, one, one thing of gluten because it's, it's half, half a recipe or something. Okay. And then what else? I mix it a little bit. Poquito. <laughs> Más fuerza. It's mixed, it's mixed. Un huevo. <laughs> Un huevo. No veo tu cara. Es. Oh, shit. Hi. Hola. Yeah. Okay. Sigue. Revuelve bien todo el huevo. All right. All right. Todo, todo? Yeah, it's mixed. Yeah? Yeah, sort of. Okay. Pon la levadura. Levadura. Poco a poco. It's igual. It doesn't matter? No. Oh. Okay, I don't know. It smells very yeasty. Y a revolver. Mucho. All right, a revolver. I like the wooden, uh, the wooden mixer better than the other thing. It's, it's more sturdy. Este, sí. By the way, we can carve our own of these, too. We can make our own uh, wooden sticks. Whoa. <laughs> Yeah. Sing and dance. All right. Ah. 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 Yours is better. Yeah, it is better. Yeah. <laughs> <All right. laughs> yeah, baby. you do. I don't. It's gonna go away right now. <laughs> Look at mine. What? There's already a ball of dough? Like, okay, so put the flour on the outside of the dough. Okay, yeah, I've done this before. A long time ago. <laughs> when you were what, seven? Probably like seven. <laughs> Ten years and you old. were like this? Yeah. <laughs> Making a mess in your grandma's house. Yeah. Hey, this looks like. Okay. All right, yeah. so I'm supposed to like 
Mix the shit out of it, right? No, the shit. Well, still. Everything inside. So remember, these are smaller. Yeah, they're smaller, so it's this is less dough. Let's uh, just uh, learn how to mix it up here. Whoa. Uh -oh. Uh oh, what? Mine doesn't work. Uh huh. Dame más. All right. El de ayer estaba más bonito. I didn't read the part of the book that describes this, but what? The book? Mm -hmm. I did not yeah. read that the, part. Which, but which part? The about one? About kneading it. This is called kneading the dough. Mm -hmm. Amasar? Yeah, amasar. Amasar? Mm -hmm. Amasar. You amasar masa. <laughs> so funny. Amasas la pasta? Oh. Amasar. Okay. I don't know. Wait, are you correcting me? I don't know if I'm saying no. anything. No, you're doing right. Well. I'm saying something in Spanish. Why can't I just like do this? Because it's not, it's not plastilina. Algo está mal con nuestras recetas a la mitad. <laughs> this looks like a like some kind of horror movie. Porque tiene mucho huevo. Ah, <laughs> uh, también hay desmadre de huevo. All right. No, tú nunca se va a deshacer. All right. Well, I'm just gonna mix it up. And, uh, <laughs> That's you know, exactly what I'm trying to do. Mix it up. It, if anyone it was can. paying us, we'd be fired. <laughs> For sure. No question about it. Well, the idea is to mix it up so that the gluten and stuff, like, look, look, look this is dough like. I, I think the only bad thing about, about it is. <laughs> well, if, <laughs> all right. Should we put our hands in the oven? <laughs> no, no puppies in the oven, no hands in the oven. But I think the idea is essentially, and I mean, we have to think at a molecular level. The fact that this is messed up for us does not mean it's bad for the bread, I think. Um, it's just it sticking smells. to us. That's, that's a personal problem we're having, but at a molecular level, the dough is probably fine. And so let's just... We said this morning that, it that we were so ready to make it perfect. <laughs> well, I didn't say perfect. I know, I have experience. I but know this perfect... This is a perfect dough. way to have fun. It, <laughs> it was supposed to um, look a little more professional <laughs> today. But this could be fine. I'm not worried about it. <laughs> I am Except so worried. Now, now I can't use my hands though. No. Not, I get this what, shit off me. What, All right. What are we doing now? Uh, we're gonna put this. I'm gonna put. Well, I don't know what you're doing. Ay, but, we love uh, la mosca. I'm gonna. I'm gonna put mine on my pan. I'm gonna put mine too. And uh, then I'm gonna see what happens when we stick it in the oven. How are you gonna take everything? I, I know. I'm worried. I don't know. All right. <laughs> which pan? Wait. Which pan? Which, the I one. The, the square one is yours. Square one. Okay. That one is yours. Okay. That's great. You can bring it here. Yeah, well, I can't touch anything. Okay. Muy bien. All right, I'm all set. I, I'm a professional um, in the future. I have traveled into the past to give you examples of um, how, how you need to use flour exactly. to have the dough not to stick to your hands and so you don't look like you've been in some kind of weird, scary horror movie. All right. Uh, we might have to learn to edit though a little bit. No, the thing. Okay. The thing here is that is the whole egg. I think this is the problem because okay. it was the whole egg. And, right. Uh, so we have the yeah. recipes, and then we had whole <laughs> eggs. So we're blaming eggs, apparently. <laughs> We always have something. No, we have a collection of excuses. That's fine. And they are written in our notebook. I, I, I don't mind Next that. to the recipe. If I... If you, this is like a quarter of the dough. Es la mitad, huh? No. Un cuarto? Un cuarto. All right, I'll figure this out. All right, okay. I, I gotta get serious here. Me too. I'm gonna try. See, if I get serious, everything is going to be fine. <laughs> oh, 
like the way you get serious. <laughs> Yeah, that's not working. All right, well, my red is going to go. That's how it's going to go. So good luck. Ah, uh, yeah. <coughs> I'm done with that bread. And okay, now you should rise. Rise. Yeah. Hopefully. Wait, dogs could just eat this off you, couldn't No, 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 no. Oh, that's right, it's going to rise. <laughs> you say it's going to rise. Oh, we learned that yesterday, yeah. This is not going to be good at all. Doughy shit. <laughs> you think it's yay? I think you're right. Yeah, that's a good theory. It's the egg. I'm, I'm sure. We didn't know how to do the half of the recipe. Pero, it's going to be okay. It's going to be good. I'm getting there. Va a tener mucha harina. Yeah, it's got no flavor. We don't need flavor. Oh, by the way, Luisa, one of the things you don't know about me is I hate to have gooey shit on my hands. Yeah. It's like one of my... Well, I, I, didn't, I didn't do anything. No, you didn't hands. do it. It's my fault. I, well, or the egg's fault or somebody's fault, but... It's somebody's, but not yours. I don't know. <laughs> Well, but you're clean now, right? Yeah, I'm okay now. Okay. Nobody died. All right, so it looks like you're getting it figured out. I think so. What'd you do? I put harina. Flour. Mas harina. Mas flour. Mas harina. Okay. Mas harina. So okay. That was the only way. All right, so some kind of balance of egg and flour or something is going on there. See, All but right. I'm getting there. Look. No, it looks pretty good. Well, I'm going to leave mine the way it is, and it's going to be fucked up. No, maybe it's going to be better than mine. It might be better than yours. Because mine has mucha flour, mucha mm. harina. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, it's a little chilly outside, and we want these dough to rise. This one's already rising pretty well. They're all in different pans, and so they're all going to act a little different. And uh, Some of them didn't, didn't get kneaded as much as the others, but... We'll see how they do. The reason they're in here is because we do have living yeast inside the dough. And so we want that living yeast to be reproducing and producing more carbon dioxide and everything. And, uh, and so I put them here where I had a fire this morning early. So I can feel the heat here and it's a lot warmer than outside. These should rise quite a bit. And of course we're hoping that the ones we leave longer will rise more. But we'll find out. And we'll try and keep the dogs away from the dough. Man cannot live by bread alone, but it's kind of hard to live without it. Hard to live without bread. Uh, and a woman too might want bread. You want bread? Yes, I do. All right. Look at this guy. This was tiny before. Now it's big. Oh, push it. Oh. Remember yeah, what I, happened? Yeah, I poked that and I kind of <laughs> disturbed it. All of the breads sitting by the fire in the lodge have risen. So there's no obvious difference between the various yeasts and experiments we did, which is actually kind of a nice result because it means we can get a, a good result even though our process may be a little chaotic and imperfect. Imperfect. <laughs> I didn't drink any beer. It's me, it's me the one who doesn't speak English, okay? That's right, thank okay. you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I speak English. Very silly girl. So we're up here at the view again. This is like 200 meters from the lodge, by the way. So you have to carry everything up here. It's all dirt because we're digging a kitchen. Uh, I started the fire a little bit and it looks like it's going up really nice. But we have a problem. 
we must not make too hot a fire. We want to make a, a fire that's the right temperature and uh, like 400 degrees at most for 10 to 20 minutes. 20 minutes sounds good according to the book. Uh, so given yesterday's uh, questionable results, I'm very happy about the, the fluffiness of these breads. I think leaving the dough was a good idea. Just a guess, but I'm trying to make good guesses. Um, we're going to get this guy a little hotter and we'll start slapping yeah. some bread in. Do we even know which is which or do we have to look at the video? This one and this one are This is mine. And, and this is mine. Your no, first one. this is yours. No. These are mine. Okay. And Those which were, which were the first two? These two. And these two were this the last. This is your first one. This is my first, first one. one. This is mine and this is yours. Okay. Remember that the dough in this one? I don't remember. Yeah, you do. Oh, That's it. <laughs> it was oh. No, these okay. two were those, and these two were those that we didn't need. But but they all look like they could work. This one looks yeah. really nice. I mean, this looks like like I mean, the real thing. It, yeah, like really, like I would eat that almost. Maybe because except it's it mine. Be yeah. <laughs> yeah. Mine no, it's an okay. accident. This was my ugly one. This did this this looks so. Oh. Well, this is a pretty accident. Look. It's a good thing. So now we're gonna try it. Lower temperatures, longer time. And uh, I'm crossing my fingers because I want to eat bread for dinner. Yeah. I have rabbit still for dinner, yeah? Is yeah. there still rabbit? Yes. We've been eating, we, this will be the third rabbit meal if you want it, but um, I'm up for some bread and rabbit. Second, this is the second rabbit. We ate second time. Okay. But there will be the third. Okay. See, it's going to be the third, yeah. Okay, so uh, bread, rabbit, that's a good life. I feel, I, feel I, I I gotta be honest, I feel a little like, I mean, I, I like my stove. I like that it could get too hot, but I feel like I wanna succeed, I really do. You will. Yeah? Yeah. Right. And always having fun. I am still having fun. And I what? still want, I really want it to work. <laughs> it's gonna work. <laughs> Okay, all right. Do not trust the dogs. You Get out of here, you dogs. thieves. Get out of here. No more dogs eating dough. Get. No trust. Talking today, I get, I, I'm not used to talking this much all the time, but it's fun. Uh, I'm learning how to make a video of fun things, and I hope to share them with people. Because I do feel like uh, bread is primal, you know? I mean, this is beautiful looking, right here. Mm, I hope it's beautiful looking uh, in a few minutes. Uh, Making bread is not rocket science. It's been done by a lot of people for a long time. And I think we have a better understanding of yeast and physics and uh, everything than we did before. So I'm hoping I can uh, make bread here and feed many people. Next step, of course, we'll try and raise our own wheat. We've done it, actually, right now, right now, I grow wheat and we give it to chickens because uh, we're not very sophisticated. So, see what happens. So, uh, here's the deal. Uh, this got hot really quick with the fire. And so we're gonna leave this open. We did not adjust the stove as we could have to, to make it more balanced heat or something, but it'll be hot and uh, we put it in at, it's one or two minutes to four o'clock. We're going to try and leave it in for 20 minutes. If we have to and we feel like it's burning, we'll pull it out further towards the entrance. We can spin it around. But the point is, 
is to not have what happened yesterday. That's the main goal. Do not burn it. Uh, we want slower heat. I mean, I can pull this out right now. Yeah. Shit, it's already heating up. Fuck, it's hot in there. Um, and, and we're going to watch it rise. We're going to watch it turn into bread. And we're not going to overheat it. Now, now, what's cool about this is, is this is going to build our intuition. This is going to build it without having a, a thermometer. And so we can see what's happening and adjust. And um, I like deductive reasoning a lot. I like to know what's going on. I like to measure things. But also, of course, that should all feed into intuition so we just know it. We just know what's right. We know how big the fire should be. We know how hot it should be. It's too hot, I think. It's too hot. I want to pull some logs out of yes. the fire. Yeah, we're going to cool this fucker down right now. Yeah, this is really hot. So, picking up. Yeah. What the? Yeah. Okay. I think that'll cool it down a little bit. And, uh,. <laughs> it may it, it may actually be next week before we know what we're doing. But I just want this one loaf. That's all my only goal right now is this one loaf to survive and uh and then we'll work on the other three. So What are you doing with the door on it? I needed to close it because the temp temperatura it was going down. Yeah, you're trying to that's my bread. I know. But okay, I, I don't touch it. No, take it, it off. Take it, it off. No, take it off. Okay, you left. You left. You're trying Me to burn alone my bread. Me with your bread. Let's see. It is bajo, it's uh, true. Uh-huh. But it's hard on the outside. I don't know. It's got to be hard on the outside. Uh, what do you want? This is the problem we had yesterday. <laughs> I know it wasn't your fault yesterday, but today it might be your fault. No. It's going to be the fault. Remember that we have a good one. A good... Um, al más culpable de todos. Who, wait, who, who's to blame? Los huevos. We can blame the huevos. <laughs> I blame this door. Get the door off there. Get, take okay. it away. Just take it away. Okay. No more door. No. Don't leave anymore. This is your bread. Okay. Here's your uh, agarradera para que no te quede. <laughs> Don't trust other people with your bread. Pues te vas tú primero, me dejas sola con el pan, entonces ya se hubiera quemado. I, I blame everyone else except me. Uh, ajá, los huevos. <laughs> <laughs> Mis huevos. No, no los estoy. Hi, puppy. Are you sleepy? Sleepy puppy, sleepy puppy. El comedor de pan. Why are you so sleepy? Did you have a big day? Yeah. Oh, you want bread? Yeah. Oh. Bread. bread. Mm, we like bread. Yummy. Mm. So, I have my bread at the unknown temperature of unknownness. <laughs> and so, I did close this just recently to kind of, if it is cooking in there correctly, then I want to heat up a little bit. I'm at, uh, right now, I'm at, <clears throat> I'm working on 20 minutes, which is getting into the temperature, uh, time it should be. I don't know how confident, I don't think I'm that confident on this particular bread. 30 minutes? Um, 30 minutes? Okay, so maybe I'm fine. I got 10 more minutes or something. Mm -hmm. You're good. I'm good? Morally? Ethically? Hmm. <laughs> I just want some good bread. Look at all these lazy dogs. Are they helping? No. They don't do shit. Hey, what about me? <laughs> well, no. I know what you're doing. I know exactly what you're doing. You're studying what I'm doing wrong so you can have a better bread. Exactly. Which I'm okay with because I want to eat your bread too. Okay. So. You're going to eat my bread and I will eat yours. Your bread. I, I'm not sure I recommend <laughs> eating my bread yet, but okay. We'll see what happens. Okay.
No. I think a little bit more. So we're at, uh, we're on the right time. I mean, we're at 20, 30 minutes or something. And the temperature's been low. I'm heating up a little more. One, I'll make this up as a theory, is that now the whole thing is at a higher temperature. And so the inside could, could cook better if I have the door on. So it could be an issue of like the inside heats up slower and so now if I have the door on the whole thing will be more evenly heated and it can brown the outside, overcook the outside, and not overcook but make gold in the outside but the inside will then cook to perfect. Good theory. Hola. Look at my bread. Well, it's not done yet, but look at the dough. Isn't that big? Hmm? Let's see what is going to happen now at the oven. If it's going to be huge or it's going to stay the same size. We don't know, but it's still growing. Let's see. So, it's a theoretically pretty looking piece of bread. In a few moments, I'm going to check it to see if it's gooey inside, in which case uh, I will not have done the best job. And that will also uh, tell Louisa whether she needs to change what I did. So she can learn from my mistakes, if any. But I'm very confident right now. This is really pretty. Ooh, it's kind of hot, but it looks great. I think we might... No, Ouch. don't do that. Ah. All right, I'll check it when it's okay, colder. Well... It's still a little hot, but uh, I couldn't wait, so I ripped it open, it's and good. it's uh, not too doughy. I'm very thrilled, and um, I'll probably cook and dry a tiny bit more. I, it is totally excellent bread, and so it's no problem to learn how to control the temperature, have a small fire, um, have the door on or off or whatever. And our intuition will tell us until we get a thermometer. Once we have a thermometer, uh, it will be very clear how to make a reliable, excellent bread every day. Arr, um, um, um. How's your bread doing? I'm going to show you my bread. Okay. It's just a few minutes. So it's not really it's, a big change. It's looking good. Yeah. Did you know what time you put it in? Yes. What time you put 437. it in? 4.37. Okay, that's good to know. Yeah. How long was mine in? Uh, yours were like uh, 34 minutes, something. Okay, so now we're in competition. You have to make it as good a bread as I did, or I would. Or better. Or better. You can make better. I don't know how you can make I'm enjoying my bread already, so. I know. Um. Don't finish yours, because I'm not going to give you mine. Wow. <laughs> mm, it's good. It's very good. Hola. <laughs> I'm not going to say that yesterday was not a success because the experiments of yesterday lead to the successes of today. And I've just made the best loaf of bread that I've ever made in my life. And Louisa is on her, <laughs> and, and Louisa is on her way to making the best bread of her life. Uh, the little puppy is not making bread very much. Yeah, but that's okay. She's almost dead. Casi muerto. She looks stoned. ¿Qué fumaste? Dígame, ¿dónde es? ¿Dónde hay? Chica. sacó del cerro. Yeah. She doesn't care about anything. She's uh, sleepy. But anyway, back to the very important humans of science and cooking. Uh, things are going well. We have produced uh, one very good loaf of bread, which is almost half gone because uh, I ate a lot of it. She ate a little bit. And then uh, we got one more on the way, which I have high confidence will also be good. What We've got, it? oh, that's good looking. Yeah. Yeah. And we've got two other loaves that we're going to let keep rising until tomorrow to see, uh, you know, at sunrise we can cook them. We'll be up here with coffee and stuff. And uh, we'll see, like, what happens if you leave your loaf even longer. Uh, I know about yeast. I brewed a lot of a beer and stuff and, and mead. And so I think I can figure out how to, how to make a very fluffy, fluffy, fluffy bread, which uh, I'm not sure how fluffy you can make a bread, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to experiment with like too much, too fluffy, 
And uh, well, I'll think about that tonight. I wonder. Anyway, very successful day. I think I'm signing off for at least this part of the evening. Very good day. Rawr, a good day of uh, baking. And uh, I think also there might be pizza on the horizon, which would be really pizza. decadent. Pizza. And of course, we can't make pizza. Well, we can make pizza a little bit. But if we're going to make pizza, we have to then buy milk in the village and we have to learn to make our own oh. cheese. Because I mean, we'll, we'll start out, we'll buy some cheese, but then make our own cheese. Yum, yum, yum. I'm ready to take my bread out. And I like it. You can. I cut it already because I don't want it to be doughy. Oops. And here we go. Mmm, looks good. Mmm. Let's see. Fantastic. Good? Huh? Very want some? Good. Uh, very soon I want some. I'm already almost full, but... No, I'm not talking to you. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go to La Casita and enjoy a cup of coffee, bread, and have some rest. Hasta mañana.